Hey oh everybody, Haku here with my live reaction or read through for Omniscient Reader or Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint, chapters 29, 30, 31, and 32. I'm going to split this into these four chapters, this video, the next video, I'll do 33 through 36, so it's four and four. Uh, then after chapter 36, I'm not really sure uh, what to do. So again, if you have like recommendations for how you want to split things up, just let me know. Uh, but either way, I don't want to make you wait any longer so let's just uh, start reading chapter 29 as i said last video i can't put panels on screen anymore or i would risk having the videos taken down or worse um, and i want you to actually be able to watch them so uh yeah let's start with chapter 29 i'm excited to get back into things and see where we go from here um with everybody meeting back up and we're not we're not picking right back up at that cliffhanger are we wow I'm so okay. Maybe we are. I'm so lucky to have such a great companion, huh? Good to see you. And then, Hu Junkyuk just looks pissed. You managed to stay alive. And then I love how Jihye is like even more pissed. And yeah, I did. I'm pretty sure after last video, I looked up the Hangul in their names, and I'm pretty sure it is Jihye um, with an H. So, well. I mean, obviously, it has an H, but I mean, like, I didn't know if it was supposed to be G, yay, or G, yay, and yeah, it has an H sound, so, he managed to stay alive. Long story short, Yu Jung Hyuk never acknowledged me as his companion. Instead, he answered by silently pointing at his, or by silently pointing his blade at, uh, Gong Pildu. Pildu, er, Pildu Gong, uh, didn't seem to want any bloodshed, so he let us go for the time being. Did you want me to die? I did, or I really didn't care that much. Companion my ass. I'd love to sock his jaw right about now, but his stats are probably no joke right now. What are you looking at? <laughs> I just love GTA in the background. Personal skill, character profile activated. There's too much information about this character, converting character profile to character summary. Activate full version. I didn't really see it when I read the novel, but opening the full version of Yoo Jung Hyuk's character profile. Character summary, we have age 28, we don't know his constellation, we know he's a third round regressor, we saw this last time pro gamer he has. Um, Eye of the Sage is level 8, same with close combat weapons proficiency, and level 5 of mental barrier crowd control and reasoning. Level 4 of lie detection, level 10 of cooking, and it says that the list has been abridged. Uh, his stigma is regression level 3. So that's interesting. The regression is his stigma, which is what you get from your constellation. So I guess the constellation is what allows him to go back and try again. Um, his stats are stamina 24, strength 24, agility 25, and mana 23. So really balanced and also higher than all the other people we've seen so far. All right, general evaluation. Uh, character evaluation's too lengthy and cannot be loaded. Now I see how extraordinary he is. So it's weird. I wonder if it's a case of, I wonder if it's a case of um, Dokja needing to use his ability more to level it up more to be able to see more, or if there really are just limitations to what he can see, like, if there's too much information, then, like, it just kind of screws Dokja over. Now I see how extraordinary he is, damn protagonist. He may even be stronger than he was during his third round in the novel. Did you have something else you wanted to say? That means he's taking more risks. What's he scheming when it's only his third round? I'm asking if you had something you wanted to tell me. No, I was just admiring that ugly mug of yours. He's deter er, he's as determined as I remember him to be. Determined my ass, that emo bastard. But he's starting to get on my nerves. Should I kill him? I'm joking. Turn that frown upside down, friend. Constellation, the prisoner of the golden headband is disappointed in you. All right. Episode 29, Chapter 7, Landlord, Part 3. And we see the rest of the group here. All around, we won. You must have made new companions. And then Yu Jun Kyuk is a little disappointed in you. 
What? Why? He's thinking. Yujun Hyuk has activated the skill Eye of the Sage level 8. I left Hyunsung with him, but look how weak he is. How disappointing. Hyunsung or Lee Hyunsung would have been even stronger if he had accompanied Yujun Hyuk. But still, I'm just an ordinary reader who's lucky enough to know the future. What is that? How is he? And then, who? who's he looking at? Is he looking at Gil Young, maybe? Is maybe, because in the novel, Gil Young would have died. But now not only is Gil Young alive, but also he's been kind of useful. I mean, it might be part of the other two, and he might be noticing, like, what she's wearing and everything, the, like, robe. But he said he, so I was assuming he was talking about Gil Kill Young, maybe? They're standing together, so it's difficult to tell. Is he looking at We Won? I want to ask him, but then I'll find out that I'm reading his thoughts. What the hell are you looking at? Well done, We Won. Should I kill? Hyo Jung Yuk! I wanted to ask you something. Why are you why are you leaving Gong Pil Du alone? Crazy bastard. If you were a real prophet, you'd know. Prophets don't know everything you know. Yu Jun Kyuk has activated the lie detection skill. Yu Jun Kyuk is using the skill lie detection. He's so damn meticulous. Well, I guess you're right. The level of your future vision skill must not be high enough. Think whatever you'd like. I need Gong Pil Du alive. For the upcoming scenario, right? I know that you need him for a future scenario, but you only need Gong Pil Du, not his entire gang. I thought it was more your style to keep things simple. Why are you letting them run rampant? How annoying. What? I'm a busy man. You'll never understand. Wait, this isn't something that you can just ignore so easily. The edgelord. Like I said before when he first showed up in the story. Such an edgelord. If you don't do something, the people in Chungmuro Chung will... It doesn't concern me. And then... Can I punch you just this once? He says. Do you really have the confidence to? Yu Jun Kyuk has activated the skill Tiger God Aura level 5. That bastard. Let's go. And then Ji Hye follows him. Alright. One hour and 30 minutes remaining until the third scenario is activated. And he's just staring at it. The, er, the third scenario will last exactly one week. Yu Jun Kyuk is probably planning to get something he wants during that time. The Constellation Bald Leader of the Peasant's Army is angered by the suffering of the common people. The Constellation Bald Leader of the Peasant's Army is calling for a people's revolution. I can't let him have his way. I can't, but... The Constellation Prisoner of the Golden Headband is wondering what you're thinking. Yu Chung Hyuk, that son of a bitch. And then, the Constellation Prisoner of the Golden Headband is pleased. You've been gifted a hundred coins. You were scared a little, weren't you? Sorry. When you were talking to that guy, or to that Jung Hyuk guy. <laughs> as if. But, but more importantly, I'm worried about what to do with Gong Pil Du and his gang. I didn't change the subject because I was scared. Gong Pil Du is more of a problem right now than you, Jung Hyuk. From what I heard, they claim ownership over public spaces and ask people for rent. Those greedy bastards. In order to complete the third scenario, we need Gong Pil Du's help. But if you he won't help us... I'll go kick his ass. That won't work. I should get them better weapons. We can beat them if we join forces. Remember Gumho Station? Hui Won Jung has activated the skill Time of Judgment. And we see the scales. The constellations of the Pure Good Alignment remain silent against Jung Hui Won's request. The skill has been cancelled. Huh? What's this? Is it broken? Time of Judgment, a personal skill that belongs to the Judge of Evil, is an all-powerful buff skill that's ridiculously overpowerful or overpowered. Um, but the catch is, it only works when the intended target is an evildoer. Why isn't the skill activating? Gung Pil Du and his gang are definitely evil. That's only from our perspective. What are you... I'm saying that the standards of morality that we humans abide by may be different from that of the constellations. Justice, in most cases, is just something that's agreed upon by the majority. How can that... But there must be a way. Sorry? It won't be easy, but there must be a way we can defeat him. What is it? 
We have to. Lure Gungpildu out of his militarized zone. His stigma militarized zone is an optimal defense skill, but it'll only work in specific areas that he's designated. His turrets will be useless if he leaves his area of effect. But it won't be easy to lure him out. He has blankets, food, even a chamber pot. He's practically staging a sit-in. What's so special about that place? It's the biggest room in Chungmuro. Room? One hour until the third scenario is activated. Ch shit don't come near me! And we see somebody trying to protect a small, like, one-person room. Let's worry about Gong Pildu later. We should also start looking for a room. Well, let's begin. Er, let's begin the third day of the main scenario, shall we? And we have the Dokubi back. I see some new faces here today. Aren't you all excited? Alright. And then he snaps his fingers and the screens pop up. Main scenario 3, green zone day 3. Uh, main difficulty C, clear conditions, occupy a green zone in the station, and survive the monsters that emerge e each night at midnight. The scenario will last for seven days. Okay, so I guess there's only a certain amount that can be in each zone. And also, you have to defend the zone from the monster, so everybody wants the easiest zone to defend, and also the one probably that can hold enough people to help you defend. Okay. And it's going to last for seven days. Duration eight hours, reward 1,000 coins, penalty for failure, and we aren't told. Okay, interesting. So now we basically got confirmation on a lot of things that were hinted on in last video's chapters. Um, it was really good. I, I want to see more of GTA and Junkyuk. I really do. I want to see more of them. I like, though, that... I don't know. They're not evil. And we're keeping the mystery of what exactly Junkyuk's plans are, what he's doing. I mean, he has slaughtered and killed a bunch of people, but also this is his third time through. We see already the effects are different. Um, he's making different moves than he did in the novel because he's on his third time through. But um, in the novel, he would have had um, Namun with him. He would have had uh, Hyunsung with him. So he doesn't have them. So that changes things, but also he is now noticing, like, Dokja's meddling and Dokja's group that he has going on now. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that changes further and what on earth he's even doing. Um, and then, of course, I like Dokja's group. I like that... So Gongpildu isn't evil. I mean... They're just trying to take up the spaces, which I guess really isn't evil because that's the objective of the game. He's just trying to play the game and survive using the objective. So you can't really say that that's evil, you know? Um, so I, I, I'm really interested. Let's continue reading. Okay, time for episode 30, and we're actually getting a... This episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some readers. Okay. Interesting. I don't remember... I don't know if we've gotten one of those. We might have. We might have. Um, we have Green, or Green Zone Day 3. We just read the rules. All right. Th this is... The rules are simple. Occupy a Green Zone before anyone else. You can also steal someone else's Green Zone, of course. You better hurry. You can't find your own Green Zone, by, or if you can't find your own Green Zone by midnight, you'll be in deep trouble. So it says defend it, but I wonder if... The monsters just can't, if like you literally have to defend it, or since they say you're in trouble without it, if maybe you're safe if you're in the green zone. So it's all just about fighting the other people to like get a green zone. Interesting. Well, good luck then. All right. I love all these group shots in the main character group. Die already and we see people fighting over the green zones. It, it's nothing personal. I just don't want to die. So again, that's why I guess Gong Pildu isn't really evil. Because he and his gang, they're just doing this. They don't want to die either. They have to fight for a spot. Alright. Episode 30, Chapter 7, Landlord, Part 4. Do you really think we'll have to fight like that? And then, there won't be a need to. We just need to find a room that can hold us all. Green zones vary in size. Some only house one person, while others, like the Pildu or one Pildu Gong is occupying, can hold up to 70 people. Let's split up and find a room. 
um, Hyunsung and Sang Ah can team up, and Hui Won and Gil Young can go together. What about you, Doctor? I'll go my own way. If none, the, or if none of us have found a room 20 minutes before the scenario starts, let's meet back here. And they all nod. <laughs> we want to soak you with a just giant oversized robe. I love it. And then they take off. They probably, and then he checks his phone, just as I thought, won't be able to find us a room. And we have, are you serious? Jihei snapped back at Namwoon. Jung Hyuk Yu had known all along. There are no rooms left in Chung Muro. All right, so he's still reading. That leaves us only one option. But could they really? And I like that we're actually seeing this. I feel like we have almost never seen him actually reading the story like this. But could they really? Take innocent lives for the sake of saving ourselves. 30 minutes remaining until the third scenario begins. And then he's still looking at the phone. Hey, what do you think you're doing? The constellation of the prison or the constellation the prisoner of the golden headband is wondering what you're up to. Come to think of it, it won't do me any good to let B. Young or the Constellations know that I'm a reader of TWSA. What are you doing staring into a blank screen? You're boring the Constellations to death. And he's shocked, so they literally can't even see it. The Constellations and the Dokubi can't even see it. So this is like beyond even them. A blank screen? You mean this? Yes, are you brainstorming or something? You'll die if you just sit there like that. What did I ever see in you? So the constellations in the Dokubi, who have the highest administrative power, must not be able to see anything on my screen. If they could, they would have brought it up much earlier. Then how powerful is the author who sent me this supposed to be? And then he looks over as he hears a scream, and he sees people dying, and the zone get occupied. All right. Don't come any closer. Don't worry, I won't steal your spot. Really? You seem quite laid back, old man. Maybe you don't want to live anymore. Uh, when we have GTA showing up. This rude bastard could only be. You seem as laid back as I am. She smiles. No one will dare come near my room. They know very well what's going to happen to them if they do. Well, the only people who could fight against Ji Hye here would be the Landlord Coalition or Yu Jun Kyuk. But I don't want you to die. I was impressed by her by how you stood up to Master. I won't. Don't you worry. And you don't have, or you don't necessarily have to find a room to survive the night. Are you? Okay, interesting. So he thought about getting them better weapons. Okay, so Dokja's plan might be that it might be easier to have his team fight the monsters and survive the night than to convince them that they have to kill innocent people to take a room. It might just be easier to have them work together to survive the night than it would be to convince them to, like, take a room like that. That is interesting. Are you that strong? As strong as Master. You should return to the room, says Jun Kyuk. Oh, Master, yes, sir. Are you going to fight the monsters? You'll die, and your buddies too, and he shrugs. We'll have to see about that. What? That's ridiculous. 2,000 coins per night. Are they kidding? How to split their heads open? Tokja, we couldn't find a room. Tokja, do you know what they told us upstairs? They asked for a ridiculously high rent, right? Y you knew? Okay, he's saying they asked for a ridiculously high rent, right? Y you knew. Did you find anything, Dokja? No, nothing. We now have two options. That many? The first option, in which we all live, is the easier of the two. Then, er, when that's the case, people usually end up going with the second option. What's the other option? The second option will be arduous, and one of us could even end up dying. Let's go with the first one. If there's a chance for all of us to survive, we should go with the first option then. Can you tell us what they are first? The first is over there, to kill people and take a room, probably. <clears throat> the room they're occupying can house five people. 
but their stats aren't that high or aren't that very high. Just a few of us will be enough to wait, Dokja, are you Yes. The first option is to kill them and take their room. I'm up for it as long as you're willing to do it, says Gil Young. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'll do it. No, Gil Young, says Sung Ah. Don't you think we already thought of that? They probably killed others to occupy that room as well. If we carry on like this, we won't be able to complete future scenarios. Dokja. I killed someone in Gumho Station. I did so out of my own volition, and I don't regret it one bit, but just because I killed someone doesn't mean that I enjoy doing it. I don't want to become a monster. Dokja, I want to hear what the second option is, says Hyunsung. And then he smiles. I understand. We'll go with the second option. And then Huibon smiles. I knew it. Why test is like that? She's so adorable. She's the best. She's the coolest and the cutest. Just the best. I wasn't trying to test you. That hurts. I would have respected your choice. No matter which path you chose. And then, now that we've all agreed on the second option, you'll have to do exactly what I tell you. Please trust me, no matter how ridiculous I sound, if you fail to do that, we will all die. And I guess he can use his knowledge of knowing how the monsters attack in the story to maybe make it easier for them to survive. Like, it's not just like throwing their head against a wall, fighting enemies head on. Maybe he has a plan because of how specifically they attack. Alright, five minutes remain until the third scenario begins. And then, long page break there. Monsters are likely to spawn from that direction. They'll rampage through the station and make their way up to the ground floor. Then, do we fight them off from here? No, we can't. If we do, we'll all die. We need to split up for this plan to work. Hyunsung, Sang Ah, and Hui Won. You have to trust me 100%. Alright, the scenario is activating. When the monsters spawn, and we see these bear monsters and, like, reptilian ones too. And they're staring them down. sang -ha looks terrified. I want you to run towards them. Now. And he's carrying Gil Young on his back. And all the monsters start charging. Alright. And then we get Cliff on. Alright, that was a really good chapter too. I like this setup. Again, I like the moral stuff we got into. Yeah, yeah. Like the stuff that I said before where it's like, Okay, they have to kill people to take the room, or they can just try to survive straight on against the monsters. Um, I like what we're doing here, where he was willing to go either way, sure, but his team are good guys. They don't want to kill people to take the room. Again, how long are they going to be able to keep that kind of mindset up? Um, but they're good guys, and I like that, and I respect that. Um and I don't, well, I don't know. They're good guys. Hui Won's like, I'm not killing innocent people, even if they've had to kill other people to, sur or to survive. But Gil Young's like, yeah, I'll bash a skull or two in. Um, so I don't know. You know, maybe I'm getting too ahead of myself with that statement. Um, but the fact that he was willing to go either way for them, and he's trying to make it work with this team, like he could use his knowledge of the story ahead of time to just... Like, if he wanted to just survive, he could survive. He could make it through in the slimiest way possible. He could just suck up to Yoo Jung Hyuk more. Um, but I do like how um, how Duck just been handling this. I think that uh, the scenario is turning out really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see where it'll go from here. And it's also interesting because he said they'll need Gong Pil Do. So I wonder what actually is the plan then. Because if they're planning to lure him out of his zone and then kill him, why would he possibly ever leave the zone, you know? Um, so, like, I don't know. I don't know. What would they need him for? Or if they wanted to take him out, why would they need to take him out if they're just trying to survive? I mean, I guess it would be hard to do that seven nights in a row. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm excited. We still have half a video to go, so let me just get into the next one. On to chapter... 31 and we're starting with another like violence warning but also 
You want us to run towards the monsters, not towards Dongguk University Station. Yes, you have to run straight for them. Or I was thinking maybe straight past them. I guess I was kind of thinking it towards the end of last chapter, but especially now that this is like the lines we're starting with. I wonder if like as they're spawning, because it looked like some sort of gate thing, like some sort of red gate, are they trying to boundary break or something? Like I was saying, just survive against the monsters. But if they run through the gate while it's open and the monsters are coming out, are the monsters going to be trapped in the station and they're just like, is it possible for them to boundary break to a place where the monsters can't reach them? Um, is that maybe it? Yes, you have to run straight for them. And, and he throws a rock. You have to start running after they've spawned. Search the wall to the left right before you run into them. All right. The main scenario is activated. All right. The wall to the left. Oh. And then there's a green area. And Sangha touches it, it looks like. Somebody's activated Chungmuro Station's secret area. Okay. The hidden area, Refuge of the Brave, has been activated. Okay, so that's something that, like, only he would know about. And that's why he sent those three. Okay. So, we won't and Sangha make it, and Sangha looks back. Hyunsung, and he's getting sort of, like, pushed back by the flood of enemies. He runs in. And it looks like they're pulling him in with some sort of, like, whip of light. I don't rem Did she use this before? I don't remember. I might have to go back and reread some more already. So they're helping to pull him in. There are a few hidden green zones in the third scenario that I guess maybe only activate, like, once they spawn. Okay. What about Dokja? And then... They appear on certain surfaces around each, or on certain surfaces each round, and can only be seen after the scenario has been activated. And shouldn't they really question, how do you know this? To think that there are hidden green, or that there are green zones hidden in the walls. Well, we were the ones who jumped to the conclusion that the green zones were rooms. All right. And then they're starting to catch up to him. Uh, Landlord part five. We have the splatting as they're fighting back the monsters. There are only two hidden green zones on line number three. The second one should be somewhere up ahead. And he sees the guy from before with the bat. To be honest, I want to just steal that room over there. Huh, this turned out to be interesting. And we have the Dokubi. Shall we bring on the penalty? And then scenario penalty has been applied. Partial green zones in the area have been deactivated. Hmm, what does that mean? So some of the green zones just weren't even, like, real? That, that's like, I don't know, that's unfair, that sucks. And then the guy gets attacked. Get away from me. He's getting torn apart. To, sur er, to have survived an onslaught like this, even for a day, Hyo Jun Kyuk is a monster. Would I be able to do the same if I spent every coin I had on raising my stats? I doubt it. Dokja? Not now, I'm busy. You can leave me behind. And he looks shocked. What? I don't get it. Why are you going out of your way to help us? You would have done much better if you were alone. To be honest, I don't think I know the answer to that myself. Do you think Dokja and Gilyoung are alright? I can't see because of all the monsters. One thing I can say for sure is, yeah, you're right. And he slices through all the monsters. It would be easier for me if I did everything alone and kept all the earnings for myself, but I once read a novel that went to shit because the protagonist did that. Oh, so this is maybe like getting further into why he doesn't like Yu Jun Kyuk. I'm definitely not meant to be a protagonist. I'll never be a hero or a savior, but... And then, Gil Young will not die. At least not today. Hold on tight. List of bookmarked characters. And we see Namun Kim's understanding 35, Hyun Sung Lee's 65, and uh, Cho Nin Ho's is 20. And he activates um, Namun's abilities again. And tries to run through. 
All right. Over there. And we see the green in the distance. We're almost there. He tries to jump over the remaining enemies. Huh? Green zone one of two. And Junkyuk is waiting for him. Damn it. And then he steps up. Hey, can you move aside? God, that's a good panel. I know you can survive without that room. I don't know. I'm a bit tired today, says <laughs> Junkyuk. Damn it, how does you, Junkyuk, know about this area when it's only his third round? From what I remember, the first time he used a secret green zone was in his fourth round. How to sock his, or sock his jaw right now. And then, at least take this kid then. Give me the child. And they say it at the same time. No, wait, Dokja. So I wonder, like he said before, asking him, like, do you think you can hit me or whatever? I wonder if he's just testing his strength more. Constellation, bald leader of the peasant's army, closes his eyes. Constellation, uh, demon-like judge of fire, is looking at you with pity. And then, I told you you would die. And then, he's surprised. I'm not going to die. And we have the wave of monsters collapse in on him. And Gil Young still yelling for him. Okay, and we get a reminder of the uh, of the scenario, and we end it there. That is that is a pretty crazy cliffhanger. But like I said, I decided to split things into four and four, so we're gonna do chapter thirty-two this time around, and then we'll do thirty-three to thirty-six next time. Uh, another good chapter. Again, these might be three of my favorites so far. I feel like so one of the complaints I mentioned last video is like I was like. I'm really, really, really enjoying Omniscient Reader, and I think the art is one of my favorite things about it. It looks really gorgeous, but I was like, as much as I'm enjoying it, it's not like I have zero criticisms, but I can kind of ignore most of my criticisms, because most of my criticisms are like, eh, the characters aren't developed enough. I'm, like, as of last video, I was less than 30 chapters in, so it's like, it's less than 30 chapters in. Like, how developed do I expect them to be? Um... Or the world and the scenarios just weren't gripping me maybe as much as they should have. But again, I'm like, I'm not even 30 chapters in. So like, that's something that literally just reading a little bit more can change. And I like in just these three chapters, I think this is one of the most entertaining. Actually, of the main scenarios, this is the most entertaining to me so far. I think of the main scenarios, this one is the best so far. And then behind this, I would have put the side scenario when he was in the belly of the ichthyosaur. Um, it would have been this, and then that, and then... I don't really remember the second one all that much. I mean, I remember them in the station and everything, but I don't remember, like... I remember more of, like, the stuff surrounding the scenario more than, like, the actual scenario, you know what I mean? I remember, like, the character stuff and the character conflicts more than the actual, like, game setup. Um... So that might be below scenario one. Um, but yeah, I think this is the best so far that we've been doing for like the rules of the game being interesting and good. Um, and also just in these three chapters, I've really liked the character stuff. I'm again, they're not super developed, but they're in a spot where I'm just wanting more, where I like them and want more. I really like Lee Ji Hye and Yu Jun Kyuk, and I want to learn so much more about them. Um, of course, I like Gil Young, and I'm excited to see what's in the future for that character. Um, say, same with Lee Hyun Sung. Uh, he's a little bit, a little bit bland, but again, but it, it's early on, and we still have so much more that we can see. Um, Sang Ah is in kind of a similar place. I feel like she has a little bit more development than Hyunsung, but not a ton. But again, we're early on. I love Wee Won. Wee Won's one of my favorite characters. My favorite's got to be like between Wee Won and like I said before, the Dokubi. Um, uh, what is, is, is Bi Young? Bi Young the uh, Dokubi? Um, and then I really, really, really like Dokja. And I think these three chapters have been really good for Dokja of like that perfect balance of making decisions that I can respect and find like them to be good, respectable decisions, but also like being cool and not being a generic, like everything works out for you protagonist. You know what I mean? 
Um, so yeah, I don't know. This was this has been really good. These were three really good chapters, and I'm gonna read one more before I end the video. Okay, last chapter for this week. We have chapter 32. Let's um, let's just read to see what happens from there. We have uh, more of presumably Gil Young yelling out for Dokja. And then Hu Jun Kyuk looking surprised. Did he just... that thing he swallowed. And then we see something in his hand. Right before he was attacked is... You know what it was, right? Even if you did, you wouldn't be able to use it. And then he chomps down on it and it breaks. And all the uh, wave of monsters collapses in on him that we saw from before. And we see this energy coming off of the or coming off of the dog pile. We still have Gil Young yelling for Dokja, but it's getting distorted. Illusory prison has been activated. Oh? You've become a ghost species. Alright. Chapter 7 Landlord Part 6. Dokja. And then how my head he looks over. Oh, and is this more flashback stuff? We see a woman standing over a man with blood on him. I don't know if it's going to be his parents. The effects of the fourth wall have been diminished temporarily due to increased immersion. No. Anything but this memory. I have to resist. And we see him on the ground with the sword. He's holding his head. Damn trauma. Some memories are not meant to be revisited. The Spectre Spirit Stone I obtained on my way to Chungmuro Station. When consumed, this turns you into a ghost species temporarily, so that you can become invisible to monsters. But as a cost, it amplifies the trauma buried deep within one er, buried, buried deep within the user's memory. I really didn't want to have to resort to this. The fourth wall is so overpowered, I've managed to survive thanks to the skill. If anyone else tried this, they would have been driven mad. Now I should wait for the effects of the fourth wall to return. Hu Jun Kyuk. And... Oh? He sees a woman behind him. Are you Hu Jun Kyuk? He turns around. You're not Hu Jun Kyuk. What? Has the trauma been triggered again? You look Korean. Or is this the other person who can see the future? Because weren't they supposed to be not Korean? No, it's someone I don't know. A foreigner with blonde hair. Could she be? Who are you? And we see she's activating some power with her eye. And then personal skill character profile activated. Anna, so it is Anna Croft. She was mentioned before. Anna Croft is using mental barrier level 6. Character profile has penetrated the mental barrier level 6 skill. There's too much information about the character, converting character profile to character summary. And we see Anna Croft, attribute Prophet Legendary and Savior Legendary. And she has Future Vision level 5, Past Vision level 4, Insight level 8, Clairvoyance level 4, Upper Class Magic level 4, Mental Barrier level 6, Lie Detection level 7, and Archdemon's Gaze level 1. Just as I thought. Why? Now of all, she can... Enter people's consciousness free from spatial limitations. A character of TWSA who can see the future and plans to rebuild a new future through her visions. The Prophet, Anna Croft. How do you know me? You see, I'm also a prophet. Anna Croft has activated the lie detection skill level 7. The lie detection skill has detected that you're lying. <laughs> Did not work. Did not pass the speech check. I guess this doesn't work on a real prophet. Tell me who you are. Who are you? I think I know what's going on. She must have noticed my presence because of the effect or er, because the effects of the fourth wall were reduced. If the skill actually does what I think it does, that is. So what should I do? To be honest, I'm a little disappointed. Do you really not know who I am? Sorry? The ichthyosaur nucleus I sent you. You did receive it, right? And I won't trade this with anything else but broken faith. Okay, that's why he did specifically that. So it would go to her. Didn't you use the Nucleus's magic power to implant the Archdemon's eyeball to your eye? Uh, are you the one 
who requested broken faith through the auction house. You, what's your name? Archdemon's eyeball. She was lucky enough to have been gifted an item that's worth one million coins. Lucky her. How? The effects of the fourth wall skill have slowly begun to return. Why? I can't see anything. We'll meet again. Wait for me until then, won't you? The effects of the fourth wall skill have been completely returned. And then she can't see anymore because the skill's back. And he smiles. You've become immune to the effects of illusory prison due to your skill. Damn it. This took way too long. I had my hands full already. Then I had to bump into Anna Croft. This isn't good. I wonder how much time has passed. I wonder if everyone's okay. I wonder if the third scenario is still on the way. What if I'm still surrounded by ground rats? And Yu Jun Kyuk, what if he killed Gil Young? If he did. Dokja, and we have him still yelling, please Dokja. Personal skill, dispel evil, level one activated. And he wakes up to see his team. Tokja. And then, what about the scenario? It's over, Dokja, we made it. He looks over to where the wall was. He sees people traumatized and a bunch of dead bodies. We shouldn't be celebrating yet. Sorry, we've only survived for one day. Yesterday was the fourth, so... Tokja, no, you haven't slept a wink. What time is it now? It's 8.30 a.m. About 30 minutes have passed since the scenario's ended. I wasn't out for too long then. Where's Gil Young? Oh, Gil Young is... Did he... Oh, was... Again, was I right? Is that the he that he was referring to? Did Yu Jung Kyuk kind of, like, conscript him? What? Why is Jung Kyuk? When did you complete... Or when did you complete? I don't think I've... Before... Not too long. And then what he's saying is blanked out. Damn it, I can't hear what they're saying. When one of us startled him earlier, could he have been... What's that? How is he? Are you sure you won't come with me? Yes. If you do, you'll become stronger at a much faster rate than you do with him. I'm still not going with you. Idiot child. Level 2 of Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint activated. That lucky bastard. I guess I'll have to keep him alive for a little while longer. I should say something, but I don't have the strength to. But again, reading his mind could help him learn why Jung Kyuk wants Gil Young. And he runs over, yelling for Dokja. There's no more time to waste. I need to work on tonight's plans. Plans? What plans? If I don't, I need to think, but I'm too tired. Or actually, they said they needed... Gong Pildu, I'm remembering for a future scenario. So it might not be like right this second that they need him. Interesting. D Dokja, just let him sleep. You should get off him, Gilyoung. Fine. Okay, and then we get a reminder of what's going on. Third day complete. Okay, this was the best four chapters so far, in my opinion, probably. I really like the chapters where. Dokja was surviving in the stomach of the ichthyosaur and talking to Bi Young and doing all of his planning there. I think those were really good chapters, but these are probably my favorite so far. These were really good. These were a really good set of chapters. Um, man, we've got so much more about the world. I did just mention, not only did we get so much more about the world, I love how the characters and how Dokja's team has come together in these four chapters. I really like it. And not just Dokja's team coming together. We've got more stuff going on with Ji Hye and Jung Kyuk. And we still have some more stuff up in the air with Gong Pil Du. So maybe they need him to survive this third scenario because they need him for a future one. Or at least Jung Kyuk does. But I don't know if that means Dokja does as well. Um, interesting. Interesting. This was so incredibly good. Uh, but either way, I'll end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of uh, these chapters, my thoughts and reactions. Uh, subscribe for more. Um, Omniscient Reader, much, much more on the channel. Tower of God should be coming back sometime this month. Um, it's already back if you're not waiting for the official translation to finally come back. Um, 
if you want more Kubera, we're doing that, plus anime and manga and stuff. Uh, tons of other things I want to do when I finally get time to actually work on YouTube stuff more again. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server, it's free and open for anyone. Just ask and I can give you a link to it. And if you want to help support the channel to help me to continue to make videos, um, again, things will be sped up a lot and I'll be do or be able to do a lot more in the future. Things are just not in a great place for me right now. Um, but if you want to help me uh, support the channel and help it keep going, um, it's patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes or a link will be in the er, description. Or uh, you can become a channel member right here by hitting join down below. Uh, thank you to people who are already patrons and channel members. Thank you to Chosen Regulars, Etchy Zero and Evan Holly, Magical Girl, FR Nono, Cherryton Student, David Langstaff, Slayer Candidate, SG, and the Irregular, Tyrone Beast. Um, thank you all so, so much. Um, and thank you all for watching so much. It really means a ton to like share this journey with all of you. Um, yeah, seriously. Uh, like I mentioned before, the reactions are kind of all I can do now. I mean, I can do reviews and I will be doing reviews. It's just like, I'm doing the reactions first and foremost. I'm doing the reviews whenever I feel like I can add a review on top of the reactions I'm already doing. And then once we catch up, I can do other things. It's just that I can't really do like other things until we're caught up. I'm just too early in the series to do other types of content for ORV yet. Um, but yeah, either way, that's it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time.